Yo, what's going on guys? It's G Miners here. I put out a video a few weeks back going over how to get high stat rolls on armor pieces and the best ways to farm them. And on that video, a bunch of you guys commented to let me know that the war table umbral focusing was another great place for high stat rolls that I left out. So in this video, I figured I would decrypt a bunch of umbrals to check out the stat points I end up getting along with the distribution on each piece of armor. Just to go over how you guys can do this yourself, all you need to do is have an umbral engram and then travel to the helm. Once here, I like to make sure that I have a ghost armor focusing mod on. For me, that is almost always recovery. And then after that, you are going to need the first upgrade to the war table, which allows you to focus high stat rolled armor. I honestly always had this upgrade unlocked, so I'm not really sure if the game forces you to get this one first or if this is just the one that I grabbed. But if you don't have this upgrade, then you will need to buy it with Insight. If you don't have any Insight to spend, then make sure to check the Seasonal Challenges tab and usually the first one or two challenges of each week will reward some. After you end up buying this first upgrade, then all you need to do is go to the second page on the war table and select the armor piece that you want to decrypt the umbral into. This is going to obviously cost the umbral engram itself and then an additional 25 legendary shards and 4 risen energy. Now even though this is somewhat expensive, the nice part is, compared to previous seasons, you get to choose what armor piece you want. So after you get one piece of armor you like, you can start focusing on another piece of armor and then eventually work your way down to the last one. Back last season, all you could do is decrypt umbrals with a focus on a particular armor set, but you would always get a random piece of armor from that set, so it made it hard to get exactly what you needed each time. Real quick guys, before I go over the drops I ended up getting, if you find this video useful, don't forget to drop a like and sub down below. Subbing is completely free, it helps me out a ton, and you can always change your mind later. So as I mentioned, I wanted to test to see the drops that I got here, and since my hunter desperately needed some high stat armor, I chose to decrypt them on him. I did one piece of each armor off the bat, and honestly, the rolls I got were way better than I thought. I figured people were kind of overhyping this, but it ends up being probably the best place to target farm drops. The helmet I got was a 66 drop with 21 recov and a decent stat spread. My arms were 64 base, but had a very similar spread to the helmet. My chest was a 64 base, but I wasn't happy with the spread I got. And then my boots were 65 with the best spread of all the drops in my opinion, with 22 recov, 16 discipline, and 14 intellect. I ended up going back after this and getting one more chest piece and ended up getting the best spread of all the armor pieces. It was only a 63 base stat roll, which is low, but it had 20 recovery and 23 discipline, which was the only armor piece that I got with a dual 20 stat spread. Just within this initial set, I got up to 86 recovery, and that's without a masterwork or any armor mods, so the base stats you get are going to be very solid. Overall, this is going to be the most efficient way to farm for like 99% of players. The only way more efficient than this is going to be master raids, which have a stat rotation and still depend on luck of the drops you get. So you could even argue that this is always going to be better to run than that. Also, as I mentioned, now that I have a solid chest piece and don't think I will need to change it, I can just target farm for better helmets, arms, and boots, so the farm will become way more efficient. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and if you like these armor stat farming videos. If you guys let me know of more places to test that you've gotten decent drops in, I'm happy to do them and make more videos. Anyways, hope this video helps. Peace.